past five years, more than 80 Americans have been murdered as a result of workplace violence. Experts say more needs to be done to prevent this. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest spoke to a local attorney who specializes in workplace violence. And Mike, how could something like this be stopped? Well, Matt, it starts by realizing the person in the cubicle next to you at work may be going through something in their personal or professional life that they just can't handle on their own. Now, experts say companies need to provide more resources like counselors who can take action before problems escalate. We don't know what warning signs, if any, that John Newman may have exhibited while he worked for this Orlando company, but workplace violence experts say employees should always be on the lookout for troubled coworkers. If we're seeing someone who's being disruptive at work, we can't turn our heads, we can't say, oh, Joe's just having a bad day. To avoid shootings like the one that occurred this morning, attorney Kathleen Bonzik thinks employers need to use behavioral-based interviewing techniques when hiring new employees. You're not asking, why should I hire you or tell me if you're a great team player. You're asking the employee, give me a situation where you were under pressure, where perhaps you didn't get along with a coworker. What happened? Why didn't you get along with the coworker? And what was the ultimate result? When workers must be fired, like Newman was in April, experts say employers should avoid lecturing them before escorting them out the door. We must consider the terminated employees' feelings and provide them, if we can, with resources and services to help them as they leave the office. Now, to be clear, Bonzik is not implying that Newman's former employer did anything wrong in hiring and firing him. We are still trying to learn more about what may have motivated today's killings. But the attorney says workplace violence is a trend, and it's one that she worries will continue. Matt. Mike